Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dominion 6, where we're playing as Marignan. Uh, a whole bunch of things have happened. Um, a chap got himself uh, into Earth free now. A bunch of events. Um, the defenders of Nambar are still repairing the fort faster, even though I literally don't have anyone sieging them, other than a tiny token force, but uh, it's good that they're not selling out. Um, and uh, we witnessed the battle between... Oh no, sorry. What am I saying? Um, I assume one of my spies got caught by Arco. Oh well. Um, let me just. Yeah. Um, there was a battle, so the big fight between me and T and she, so let's ho see how that went. So we got my big army here. I'm just going to pause for a second. A lot of, lot of projectiles heading out. That is a big force and that's a big line. But there's nothing there's nothing here that really worries me. What is that? That's not a, no. It's a eunuch, it's not a mage. I don't think I had I don't think there's any mages. I mean the prophet's here, so that's something, but that's a lot of militia. Yeah, this this that's pretty big P D I'm assuming. Deer tribe and stuff, but uh, it doesn't matter. I got a giant cavalry blob here. And all my all my mages, so let's see how that goes. A lot of crossbows are sort of hidden, but they're hitting the units that can take it. Oh, this this might be a problem. If they can sort of wrap in, that's not good. Like, I expect this to just melt in a moment. And they're already here in the back line, very good. Um, yeah, this is not good. I should have given him some. Oh, fuck. I think that was the Grand Master there. Some of Body Ethereal, the cavalry commander's coming in down here. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm killing everything over here, but this is bad. I'm gonna lose like all my crossbowmen, pretty much. Let's just see. Yeah, my cavalry's broken in. Um, my this chap saved most of my mage core. It looks like. Yeah, yeah, the cavalry took it. Um, let's see how painful that was. Okay, so I lost the gnome. Very sad. And I lost the grandmaster. Very sad. They're both slow to recruit. Um, and I lost one of my normal mages uh, to something. I'm not quite sure what. A um, bunch of the crossbows. 10 out of. 16 knights, but they killed. Look at this. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, that is that is brilliant. Um, and yeah, T TNG had a lot more people, but in the end, uh, superior quality of my of my knights told. Um, would have been very bad if they had mages in the fight or something. I I screwed up. I, I didn't have enough of an infantry front line to stop my crossbowmen getting getting swarmed and therefore my, my witch hunters, but uh having some units retreated. Uh I'll have to go pick them up at some point. Okay, so let's see what else happened. Province income loss. A great tax over here. And lost a bunch of PD over here. That's a shame. Uh oh and we constructed the palisade down in the uh, underground. It's nice. So let's look at that first. I would like you to start building me a lab and a temple so you can also build units down there. Let's put a uh, cuz I can't yeah, I can't really recruit anything other than Well, I can recruit the Sinus of Hallians. What can they be? Astral Ooh, air. Air access. That's interesting. It's not very likely, but the potential for air access means I really want to go for these guys. Um, 
but let's see. Um, Arco moving more elephants over. Uh, I'm not seeing any kind of big TNG build up here. That, if, if my spy is correct, there's only about 60 dudes. I can't see them pushing for the fort. Um, I went for a lot of gems in that in that fight, but my army is yeah rel relatively intact. Um, Yeah, that's pretty good overall. Um, like, I don't have any of the crossbows and stuff, but my, my entire cavalry corps is still fine. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna. Mm, I'll say that. I could jump onto Hill to my Solitude, but the problem is I don't know what TNG has coming. Not. Mm, and obviously, a lot of my units are sort of scattered over. These three provinces. Um, what I might do? Yeah, if I just recruit like a random mount commander, have him pick up all these chaps. You guys, you guys are gonna start planting a fort. Now that I've got this. Um, Uh, let's see, you construct building, building a palisade. You construct building, building a temple. This is where I wanted to put a fort in the first place. Um, and I think, I, unlike uh, TNG, I can hold it, especially if I move some reinforcements in. Uh, you are now at level 3, which means you can forge me a dwarven hammer. These things are amazing. Um, given what they do, uh, and and they allow you know, pretty cheap uh, gem craft, the uh, like item crafting. God, my, my my words are just not working. You, I've explored around. I'd like you to go up somewhere. Have you been down here? You have not. Uh, but no, I'm gonna send you to the fortress. I think. I think you've done enough that way. Um, not got a lot of money left this turn because I just built a whole bunch of buildings. So let's just build up here because this is where my next big offensive is going to go in. So it makes the most sense to, to uh, empower this more than anything. Uh, please research. And then, actually, no, let's just build a. Oh gosh. Um, uh, I should just defend there for now. Build uh, me a Grandmaster. Build me some cavalry. It's not much, but. Whatever. Let's just build some more. Let's build a burning blade. Uh, let's build another helmet. And some more. Stuff. Forge magic item. Um, like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wasting the gems do it, doing it like this, but... Uh, I feel like this is going to be good for later when I need these things. Or at least I'm hoping so anyway. Uh, and you can start researching back. I don't need uh, too many great, short, great swords of sharpness. You can take that. Uh, and then let's just start piling the troops in. Um, well, 
Why do I have these tiny crossbow units now? I'll just have a big one over here. Get some guard the mage. And I'll make one sort of secondary crossbow unit over here. Random shamblers. Um, well, I'm not going to have that move, but uh, yeah, um, I'll script up the army off, off camera. I'm feeling a bit exhausted uh, right now um, but this is essentially the turn it's kind of boring uh, I'll just send my, uh, a spy out uh, probably north towards Arco um, surprised nobody's taken these yet um, but no well, um, well, I'll, I'll script the army and stuff off camera and send them north because I, I, I want to take a second crack at Nabar. My my basic plan is to basically take my mages, uh, um, give <coughs> give my paladins um, some some great swords, swords of sharpness and, and and the other stuff that I've been building, so that they're deadlier in melee. Um, give them like other stuff and then I'm basically going to have all of my mages and this is a bit of a, of a waste of, of, of money in some ways um, where is it not here but they're gonna cast um, oh gosh what not a spell word. um where is Magic Jewel? Uh, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna cast Magic Jewel, um, which basically it's it's like a one on one death match with whatever Astral Mage they have, and since they only have one Astral Mage, um, it always target their Pretender. Uh, the problem is obviously their Pretender is stronger than than my guys because my guys have Astral One. Uh, but I plan to basically spend a gem on every one of my mages to give them power of the spears, uh, which is kind of expensive astral wise, but it, it will mean all of my guys will be astral two. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you know by by sending literally ten mages in to do that, um, one of them will win the magic jewel, uh, just 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 on on average uh, alone. But we'll, we'll see if it does. If not, then I'm hoping that the commander has been given. Um, the attack gem, burning pearls, um, and being given like magic resisting amulet and uh, great sword of sharpness, um, because this does like extra magical damage. Uh, this should get them to cut through um, the enemy protection, basically, and start cutting into the statue properly. But we'll see if that happens. Anyway, uh, everyone have a good night and thanks for watching. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dominion 6 where we're playing as Marignon. Um, a whole bunch of things have happened. We've reached Evo 5, which is very nice. That gives us access to some really fun battlefield spells. Um, found a couple of uh, magic sites. Um, we had an event of some sort, an assassination attempt on one of my mages, it looks like. It's, uh, Grave Skull the Long Dead versus one of my site searches, I think it is, yeah. Based on the name, I think. I don't know what will happen, Bark Skin, not well, yeah, it's something. Uh, you need to do something offensive. Okay, Animate Tree, that's good. 
gives us a tree. Um, that's pretty neat actually. Let's see how that works. It will actually get there in time. Give it blur, which means it's harder to hit, but the long dead might hit you. And oh, that was that was a good choice. Just melt the under the way. Okay, uh, we had. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen the, this amount of money in an event. Um, holy shit, two thousand gold. That's like my entire like another turn's worth of income. Um, cool, and I'm in misfortune one, so this is this is rare. This is very good. I need the money. Um, I had another event. Uh, we lost some dominion, but that's fine. Uh, and then one of my spies, I assume, got. Yeah. Uh. Shame and the bar continues to do stuff. Um, big thing I learned my super amazing, awesome plan against uh, the bar isn't going to quite work. I mean, Magic Jewel itself will work, but uh, me having all my guys the power of the spears beforehand will actually not uh, improve their chances of uh, doing things because apparently um, Magic Jewel only cares about the mage's actual stat in a thing like so if you have boosters and things on them it doesn't care uh, that you've got boosters on them so that's a bit of a shame I, I was hoping um, I had been hoping that uh, I'd, I'd be able to do that. What I'm going to do instead, I'm going to have this Grandmaster who's been doing a lot of site searching, because uh, he's he's actually mapped out a fair bit of my lands. Um, I'm actually going to risk him in in the army. Um, put all these guys and maybe bring like one or two more from the capital, like like this 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 guy uh, Giles, who's not got any extra paths. Um, just bring them in and just hope because like uh, I did the maths I, well, I said I did the maths a calculator for this sort of thing did the maths for me and if I throw all these guys in uh, I've got about a 70% chance of, of, of killing the Mars God with Magic Jewel but I, I can't like allow a 70% chance I need a few high level Astral Mages to make that odd a bit higher um, so I'm just going to start moving them all to the bar itself. Um, uh, and I might start moving the army. Um, I've delayed as long as I could. And I think uh, it is it is time to start getting getting the army just, just going. But before I do, uh, I need to give my commanders some more some more shit. So here you go, great great swords of sharpness. Dragon helmet and a thingy. Uh, you already have some stuff. You that for you, my son, sir. Uh, do I not have another G great sort of shot? Well, you can have a burning blade instead then. Uh, and then. You can just get the attack. It's not it's not as much stuff, but whatever. Uh I'm not gonna give my mages the pots because I again most mostly just want them to, to magic jewel. Um so I'll have to give them astral pearls, I, I believe, for the, the spell itself. Phoenix power is it? Magic Jewel. Yeah, magic jewel is one astral pearl. So, I suppose I could do horror marks, but nah, that that wouldn't really help. Um, and then we got a couple of cool fire spells here. So we got like fall, falling flame is a great battlefield attack spell. Hidden flame is an even better like um, attack spell. Um, and then like Stellar Cascades, it's, it's okay. It's it's great at fatiguing out armies. Um, and Astral Geyser is 
very interesting because it will give horror marks. Um, but I don't like using it because it, it, it seems to always hit my army instead. Um, let's just clear out everyone's... Uh, you're going to cast a specific spell, blessing... Uh, yeah, all of you are like blessing attack rear. Um, yeah. You're also going to go in. I need every mage. So let's just do. Uh, you can stay where you are. So you can stay as well. But basically, everyone else, you're going in. Um, this will hurt my research quite a bit moving in the army, but um, it's time to get started. Um, I just need to get like the force over here. Um, so I feel like if if I can if I can manage to. Uh, uh, siege down uh, Nabar. I'll be very happy. Cause I just want it to be over. It's not even. It's not even about getting this anymore. I. I just want it to be over. Um, I'll script them once I actually sit on the thing. I'm just gonna delete all the scripts for now. From oh, wait no before and right and and I've got to give them gems. So all of you have four ash. Well. All of you have two astral gems each. You're just carrying a spare in case I need to have you trade or something. Uh, uh, ba -ba 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 You also need right. Uh, actually, I say what I say. I'm gonna just do cast spell magic jewel. Where is it? And then control one, 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 one. one. Uh, I I could probably do better scripting, but I, I'm gonna be blunt. I I just want that that guy dead. Um, oh, and somebody needs to carry a few extra gems for the Grand Master. So I'll just have you carry some some extra, so the Grand Master can have some. Um, frankly, the army I'm sending in is overkill. Um, to a, to a rather significant degree, but um, I just don't care. I, I I want this taken, and I will have it. Um, or I won't, and you know, I'll be more sad about it. But one one hopes uh, that I will succeed. Um, let's see. So recruiting. Let's get some more cavalry and some more shields. Um, down here, you've built the lab. You can now build me a f temple because uh, that will let me get things. But while there's still no temple, let's build another high-quality spy. Um, I want to see what's the rest, what the rest of the cave system looks like, uh, and then let's just get some crossbows. Um, then you pump out sages over here. Uh, another spy. Let's send them. I don't know over to man. I think. Uh, not much is happening over here yet. Um, I expect the TNG player to eventually try and push for me again. Um, but how successful that'll be, I don't know. 
Actually, no, you can go over here. Whoever's over here can... Uh, like I'm going to take a commander. Give them a whole bunch more units. Uh, send them sort of down here. Pick up more stuff. Um, let's get another Grandmaster. Some cavalry and a lot of crossbows. And then down here. Let's get some more infantry. Just because I need a bigger shield wall um, for things. This should still be able to hold it just fine. Um, I'm just going to change your spells because you don't have any gems right now. Let's just do Phoenix Power and then Falling Fires. It's uh, very boring, but um, also very good. <laughs> um, Split the cavalry so some of it's in front of the uh, the mage core. Uh, let's see, so recruiting here, recruiting. I am not recruiting here yet, so let's get some cavalry and some man at arms. Not many. Um, have the architect construct the higher level of building. Uh, I've got a temple and lab here now, so can I build the? Yes, I'm just gonna build a fort here. Um, yeah, that that income from that event has let me do a lot of building this time, so I'm very happy about it. Because um, I won't have to do such a, such a big building spree again for for quite some time. Uh, yeah, we're holding off here. Um, we're now in turn 33, so we should soon be seeing my god come in, um, and uh, that will make things very interesting when it does. But uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, have a great day.